So in this video I just wanted to talk about relational and flat file databases as these are two keywords that I've been using in previous videos and I know that I've not really cleared up what they actually are. So I'm just going to quickly go through them, shouldn't be a very long video and hopefully it helps you understand that a little bit more. So a flat file database is a database where all the information is stored in one table. So you can see on there everything is all in one place. Now usually a flat file database we're talking about a spreadsheet like Excel. Even though that's a spreadsheet and not a database, technically a spreadsheet is a flat file database. But as you can see on the example there, there's lots of repeated data and there's more than one category of information. So I've got patient's information and doctor's information when really those should be two separate things. The benefits of a flat file database, it's a lot easier to understand. I know personally when I was learning ICT for the first time, I struggled with databases but I found Excel really really easy. Flat file database is really easy to create, you can just pour your data in one place and leave it. You don't need um, lots of different hardware and software, so if you're setting up a massive database for a school, you won't need to buy a server, you should have a spreadsheet somewhere on a computer. And um, you don't need to have a really in-depth skill set to handle a lot of um, flat databases. However, you might have loads of spreadsheets about in a school or a hospital where people are all changing the data and it's inconsistent. You might have lots of redundant data, so lots of the same information being inputted. Um, sometimes it's difficult to share, especially if everyone's just working on their own version of a spreadsheet. Um, if you've got loads and loads of databases, uh, sorry, loads of data, sorry for your database, it could be really, really difficult and slow for it to be used. And if you've got millions of entries, it might be difficult to search for specific things that you want. Now a relational database is a database where information is being categorised and each category becomes a table. So you might have two tables, one for, ta uh, for the doctors, one for the patients. Now these tables are linked together through fields called foreign keys. So I spoke about primary keys and foreign keys in my first video for access, but I'll just recap that. So your primary key is your unique identifier for a table for each record. Now foreign keys when you use one table's primary key in a different table. So where the primary key of one table is placed into another table and that creates a connection and link together. So you can see on the screen at the moment, we've got this publisher's ID, he's also in this table here, as well as the author ID, he's in this one here. So this table's for authors, this one is for publishers and this one is uh, for the actual books. So we've got books, authors and publishers. So the benefits, because the categories are all stored in their own tables, you only edit it in one area so you're not having loads of redundancies. Because the same data is not being recorded again and again, as I've said, it's saved space because you're not putting in five books that are the same. And we can use queries to select data and search things that we want. And then database administrators have a decent degree of control over what person can see and access. However, you need to get some specialist software, you need to have some training, it can be quite difficult to understand and it has a higher software and hardware demands than just using a spreadsheet. So hopefully that was a little bit clearer for you all and you all understand what I mean by a flat file and a relational database. And I'll see you in the next one.